Happy anniversary! You guys are all well and hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me on this part two of the Pakistan vlog and I hope you enjoy it just as you did for the first one. This is more about recipes and that kind of thing, inshallah. So let's just go straight onto it. So I'm just taking precaution with the mask on, but um, I'm making the um, juices here as well. So I've been making these juices for the family, alhamdulillah, in Pakistan, and they really loved it. I made it especially for my mother-in-law every day, whenever we could. We had to like motivate her. But the uh, ingredients for the juices are in the, the description below. Cucumber juice. This is the carrot juice, and now we're going to make a beetroot one. Ooh! Ah, <laughs> <gasps> yummy! Thank God, Saban so finally liked something. He finally had chicken nuggets in Pakistan, and if you know Saban, which is my eldest, he does not touch any meat, chicken. This do you like it? Mm. I was so relieved that I finally loved them. So we went to a place called Chai Khana and the food there was incredible. We got onion rings and nachos. <laughs> So yum. But the tea, to be honest, I actually prefer my sister in laws. So, whenever we go to Pakistan, my brother in law is always up to something, literally all the time. And this time, what does he get? This organic honey, which is the first time I saw it, so obviously I had to record it. That means there are kids in there. It's like, I'd be scarred for life if I heard that as a kid. Thank you for it. Yeah. <laughs> it did taste really, really good. I was reluctant to taste it initially, but when I did, it tasted so amazing. It was incredible. Hena? Hena. What is it? It's a barbecue. Yeah. What are you doing? So when the two boys are in action, that just means one thing. They're just going to show off. Chopping the green chilies. Very fine. And what's one this? Lemon. Lemon. Ginger garlic paste. So don't be fooled because these men, yes they cook and yes they love cooking. But they don't cook all the time. They just cook when they really, really want to. And especially when it comes to barbecue. Grinded onion and ginger. So we will be making three different recipes. Also, the written description of these ingredients are below because these guys were just like saying the ingredients like this, and I'm like, what? All okay. made by main chef Rajan Main chef over there. Main chef hiding away. Recipes, <laughs> <laughs> ऑर्गेनिक चिकन के कबाब पहली बार खाऊंगा जिसको देसी और जिंजर एंड गार्लिक का पेस्ट अच्छा 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 ये अफगानी बोटी है इसमें रेड चिली नहीं जाएगी ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट पेपर ब्लैक पेपर ये 
So in goes some white pepper powder and just as desired really and also coriander whole. Very finely chopped. Oh wow. <laughs> I must be <laughs> sure now add the green chilies into the marinade. Now squeezing the lemon in there. So this one ingredient he wasn't able to give us and I kind of left it to that because we all like to have one secret ingredient that we all want to keep for ourselves. So the special Naveed um, recipe is all his. So this is a Afghani tikka. This is a special tikka. This is his own recipe. Yummy. Smells really good. Really, really good. My husband is making this amazing green chutney. I absolutely love it with either roti, prata. If you have it with chapati, for example, and you have butter on the chapati and this chutney, it is absolutely heaven. Trust me. People will be thinking this vlog is all about food, food, food. The thing is, we got stuck here due to coronavirus, so we can't go out much. So this is our isolation in Pakistan. Quarantine. <laughs> Lovely quarantine. I agree, it's been the best isolation ever. It's been incredible. It's ready now. We're close up. There you go. That's the ready product. Look, very simple to make. All the ingredients are here. Fresh mint, green chili, coriander, tomato, uh, garlic, and dried pomegranate salt. Trust me people, simple, very best, refreshing, no heavy, both The big deal for us in Pakistan, my sister-in-law, which is my husband's sister, was away from her family and it was literally 10 months. So it was a really big deal that she finally was able to come from uh, Saudi Arabia to Pakistan. Who's here? Papa. Are you excited? So today is a barbecue day. Today is the main day. The main day. Yay, pie time. So yeah, the last year mutton kima hai, lamb kima. Wow. Yeah. 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 So what is it? Because of my children screaming at the background, I could not concentrate. So basically there's lamb kima, there's organic chicken, there's this organic chicken, there's tikka, I mean. There is the special Naveed recipe. Yeah, I think that's about it. It's all fat. It's <laughs> under the green chili. It's under the ginger garlic. It's under the coriander. Cumin powder, chili flake, basar. Basar nahi. No, sorry, basar nahi. Red chili powder, Red chili flakes. Red chili flakes, me or red chili powder, me. Acha acha. Ah, my children. Oh, look at this technique, man! It's incredible. Afghani osa. Afghani osa. Uh, this is uh, the Afghani Ausal. Yes. What is it? Afghani Ausal. We have become Arabic, Arabic now. <laughs> we've got some Arabic give, uh, guests, so we, we become Arabic. <laughs> Arabs. Arabic guests. So this is Afghani Tikka. And then we've, <laughs> we've got special Tikka as well. <laughs> This is a special tikka. This Chef Naveed. What's the name of this? Naveed Special. Naveed Special. Ah, he's showing off again. But rightly so. He's amazing. Yay, 
day finally is on the grill and the whole house is smelling incredible like oh my god <laughs> Look at the color, Dika, and when I say tender, they were amazing. So soft in your mouth, and mm, it was delicious. Alhamdulillah. Wow, this looks so so good. Mashallah. <laughs> Big boss there. <laughs> what? What's for dinner? Peacock. Peacock. <laughs> oh my god. So, so many of you are asking about the peacock. It is here. The peacock is here. Special. Recipe. And today it's being made. The special recipe. And by a special chef. By a special chef right there. Under chef. Under chef. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's smelling really good so far. And yes, we're allowed to eat peacock for God's sake. Are we allowed it's, to eat peacock? It is halal. It is halal. You can take fatwa from whoever you want. To. But it's one of those things that you don't eat every day, obviously. You just yeah. have it. Because kind of. you can't hunt it every day. It's yeah. Really hard we, somebody gave us it as a gift to eat. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy it tonight, inshallah. So guys, keep tuned for my next vlog, inshallah, where I'll be showing you this amazing recipe. <laughs> I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. Please thumbs up. Do also share with your family and friends. Do also subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I love you.